Hi everyone, join us in this video. We're just shooting the, you know what? Still got Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. And we are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. If you want to see some really cool cargo camper conversions, hear from the builders, see some tours, and see some places we've camped and some crazy adventures, then you are definitely on the right channel. We tried to have a fireside chat. <laughs> <laughs> Which was more like a smokeside chat. We put some wood on the fire pit and it produced more smoke than flame. Yeah, it's very, very smoky. And unfortunately, we have a whole tree of it <laughs> to burn. <laughs> it's one that blew down in the yard like two years ago, and the stuff is still hard as a rock. Like, uh, and Rick just made us Yeah, that was the only thing that happened right so far. It was the pina colada. So we wanted to do an update on what's going on with us. Actually, not a lot. Okay? Like everyone else, inflation, gas prices, everything is just... It's killing us. So we are not doing a whole lot of traveling, far away at least. So we went to a campground till Tuesday before Memorial Day weekend. And it was great because it wasn't crowded. So that video is up here, at Sea Pirate. And it was a great campground, one of the best campgrounds we've been to. We had a lot of fun yeah. I actually have a, an osprey diving into the pond and getting a, a fish out of the pond. That was pretty neat. So updates, what's going on with us? We are invited to go over to Poconos the end of June, camp over there. My daughter's rented a house in the Poconos, but we stay in the trailer. You got that going on. I've had some issues with my blood pressure lately that have had me like scrambling very, very high. And I don't know why, because I haven't really been drinking for the last <laughs> week until tonight. <laughs> so we, we wound up in the ER and uh, I don't like that bottom number over a hundred. And it was like a hundred and Five? Yeah, well, at one point I put the blood pressure <laughs> meter on and I got a reading of like 199 over 174. And then I found out after that that I wasn't applying the cuff quite correctly. So I'm sure that had something to do with it, but still been up there higher than it should be. Today is the first day since like Tuesday that it's kind of almost back to normal. Yeah. So he's doing better with that. We're going to keep our eye on that. And then, in, um, well, next week, well, hopefully that's good because it's been good today. I know we were talking before about doing a little build on the van, and that's been postponed too. And one of the reasons that's been postponed is because... We're not sure we need it, basically. No, that, well, no, 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 that's no, my no. main reason. Next Tuesday, I'm going to be getting the, my remaining... <laughs> 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 and uh, and get a set of dentures. Yeah, I left, but that's not funny. I mean, I know I had all my top pulled, and I'm glad I did, but yeah. um, very expensive. That was like $5,000. I thought that was the reason you didn't want to do the van. Uh, no. He's still swelling, but look at that handsome devil showing off his teeth. He just got them today. I wanted to try to do a live out here. Can you imagine? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> all I have to do is say the word live, and it stresses you out. Really, I can feel my blood pressure creeping. <laughs> yeah, no lies. No <laughs> lies. He gets too stressed out because this is Mr. I like everything planned and perfect. And I'm like, we'll wing it. Whatever goes, goes. And yeah, it's hard enough doing them when they're pre-planned, pre-recorded, and we still have to ad-lib 99% of it. I'm better with ad-libbing. I don't like to plan things like that. But he likes everything planned out. Um, I could, like... You could tell me, let's go camping, and I could have a bag ready in an hour, and I'm out the door ready to go. You, oh my God, what are we going to do for a menu? A menu? You know, throw hot dogs on the grill. Who cares? Now, I do have an interesting thing that I might be able to film. You guys have probably heard me talk before about my grandchildren. So my granddaughter is 17 and she's going into her senior year and now it's time to pick colleges so one of the colleges she wants to look at is university of south carolina i think she wants to go for nursing now i really prefer if she stayed closer because that's like 10 and a half 11 hours away but anyway we're going to take a road trip in july me and her and that should be a hoot because in some ways we're very much alike we're both kind of 
crazy in some ways, but in some ways we're completely different because she's got to have the nails done and the, you know, she'll be like, you're wearing that? <laughs> and I don't think you'd catch her in a tent or camping at all. So we're staying right on campus one of the nights and I have to show you a picture of this. Uh, the headboards on the bed look like game cocks, big chickens or roosters, right? Cocks or roosters? Yeah. The other thing I wanted to talk about is I wanted to mention that I'm trying to really grow this channel and we are seeing subscribers are growing at a faster rate than they were. And one of the reasons is because of shorts. I'm not sure if everyone likes my weird shorts. So I created another channel called Let's Get Into Sharon Shorts. I know, funny, haha. -ha. And that is the shorts that really don't have anything to do with camping. I'm still going to do shorts. If they're relevant to this channel, I will put them on here. Otherwise, the weird ones are going to go on that other channel. So, but be sure to check it out if you like some... <laughs> weird shorts <laughs> i'm trying to um i'm actually doing an experiment to see how fast i can grow just a shorts channel with no subscribers subscribers that are growing at a faster rate <laughs> since we quit smoking i've gained like 30 pounds that i'm now trying to deal with well you're not alone me too but that's another thing we joined the gym i'm 61 years old and i just joined the gym we have talked about doing some other type of material I particularly, from my background, firearm instructor, I wanted to do a, a shooting video, show you a video Still of us shooting, but I also wanted to give you my perception of why I got involved in firearms or stayed involved with firearms as an adult, and particularly brought that in uh, to the Boy Scouts as a firearms instructor. And I want to tell you some of the, in this video, some of the, the positive reasons that I feel so strongly about giving firearms training to youth and how it, I think it positively affects them in their maturity and development. What, we've been together three years now. So, cheers. cheers. So we are both widows. You wanna tell them where we met? <laughs> in the line of motor vehicles, isn't that what you're supposed to say? <laughs> at the grocery, at church. Yeah. You know, we we actually met on plenty of fish, and why are people so embarrassed to say that? Yeah, well, we I don't both of our profiles. I guess we had photographs with ourselves playing instruments, and uh, I forget what it was. There's something that was coming up. Wanted to tell Sharon about it, and so I actually messaged her. Yeah, you contacted me first. Yeah. And then I realized you were a musician and I had just started playing bass. And I always heard the best way to learn is to practice with people. So he plays a guitar. So, I, and I'll be honest with you, since we met, I have, I don't know, my bass has just been sitting downstairs collecting dust. I have no calluses left on my fingers. But anyway, that's how we met. I don't know. I didn't even really think about going out with you. I just wanted to play music, play music with you. It was really about music. When we met, we realized we had a lot more in common. You know, like the camping stuff is amazing because it's one thing that I always wanted to do. We we're both widows, okay? And we both had great marriages before us. And we do our best to kind of honor our former spouses. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. It's kind of like we're not... We didn't close the book and rewriting the book. It's kind of like we were just adding another chapter to the book. So we try to always honor our previous spouses because we did have great marriages. But one of the things my husband and I always wanted to do when we retired was go around and travel in the RV life. And, you know, unfortunately he passed away young, so we didn't get a chance to do that. So since I've been with you, I took so many checks off that bucket list. I... Uh, camped on the beach, I camped on uh, backpacking on Appalachian Trail, went canoeing to, to, in the Delaware Water Gap where you canoeing to go camping, um, canoed in at another place in Round Valley. So we've done, I've done a lot of types of camping since I've been with you. I thought about that the other day. We've done winter camping. What else haven't I done? I haven't like gone out in uh, like some of these really pristine and remote huge areas like up in the Minnesota or 
out in Wyoming or we haven't been down to Arizona or New Mexico or any of that, camping well, in the deserts. Rick is, is right. The one place we really haven't been is out west, and as soon as these gas prices ease up, that's probably what we're going to do. So this is the question I want to know. What type of bugs do you have in your area? You can't catch me. Try if you may. But never will I die. <laughs> because we were camping at Sea Pilot, and I met this woman. She was from Colorado, and I was talking about greenheads, and she didn't know what a greenhead was. So I thought, if, if I'm talking about greenheads and she doesn't know what a greenhead is, I'm sure you guys have some bugs around there that I may not know. So which bugs are really pest for you right now? When we were at Sea Pirate, first couple days was not an issue. The second couple days, it was, what were they, gnats? No, there are no seals. No Okay. And they're like a gnat, but they're actually more petite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what bugs really bug you. All right, guys, have a good one. Happy camping. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?